Hey guys, this is Zach Hample back at Marlins Park in Miami for the second straight day. Just hoping to put yesterday behind me because that was pretty rough. Did you see that video? It was like a textbook example of what it's like for me to struggle inside a major league stadium. I got in two and a half hours early with some friends who are season ticket holders and I only got two baseballs. But last year when I was here, I got 13 baseballs in one day. So you never really know what's gonna happen here at Marlins Park. The layout is really weird. Sometimes it can work against you. Sometimes it can work for you. But today, I would just say my goal is probably to get somewhere in between. Four balls, six balls, somewhere in there. I really don't think double digits is gonna happen, but you never know. During the game, I expect another sparse crowd, so it could be tempting to go for foul balls behind the plate but I might want to be out in left field trying to catch a home run again, so just kind of play it by ear, wander around, maybe grab some food, and just have a good time with it. Gates are opening soon, so let's head on in there. John Carlo is just hitting and he actually reached the concourse one section over. I could have caught that ball, but there was a guy already camped out right underneath it. Yeah, I noticed this. Yeah, struggling once again to make something happen. I went down the left field foul line when some lefties came up hoping for a slicer. No luck there. I can't get these guys to throw me a ball. They threw me one yesterday. They probably remember me. getting sweaty, begging for toss-ups, playing for slicers, being frustrated and straight away, finally got my first ball of the day. This is kind of funny at this point. Well, for the second straight day, it is shaping up to be a struggle. The Marlins failed to deliver. Just a few home runs out to left field in the seats. I did get one toss-up from Harlan Garcia, and I think the highlight for me was seeing what Ichiro did in the field. Let me try to recreate this. Let's say home plate is that way, right? He saw a fly ball go up. He turned around and caught it like this. He arched his back and caught it. I mean, it didn't even occur to me that that was possible. So he's the man. Astros are just starting to hit. I'm still stuck here for another 20 minutes or so. We'll see if anything happens. I've been just about everywhere inside this stadium that I was able to go up until 5.30. Now the whole place is open, and I'm glad I made it down here to the Clevelander. Just got my second ball of the day, tossed up by, I think, Brad Peacock, and also had a nice chat with Joe Musgrove, last night's starting pitcher. I've gotten to know him, really just over the course of this season. Super friendly guy. Thanks, Joe. There it is, number three on the day from the man, Joe Musgrove. That was pretty interesting. You just saw a home run get caught in the net, and then basically the first person who shakes the net gets it. It's like shaking a branch on a tree and getting the ripe fruit. Well, that's it for batting practice. I guess I lost track of time, or maybe not all the Astros hit, because I got caught up here on the left center field concourse when they all started jogging off the field. I mean, this is like the worst place to be when BP ends. I got three baseballs today, so one better than yesterday. Hey, hey. There was a little flurry of activity in the Clevelander. It was fun for like three minutes, but overall, another really challenging day. I'm all sweaty. I think I probably ran around like five miles inside the stadium, so I have an idea right now for how I can get cooled off. Well, that was 
cool, felt very refreshing, and it's pretty fun to work on my backstroke rather than going for pre-game toss-ups. But listen, I was told by like four or five different employees over the last couple of days that there is a shower down here in the Clevelander, but when I was getting out of the pool and felt kind of sticky, went up to the shower, pulled the levers, nothing happened, and an employee walking by was like, oh yeah, that's just for show. What's going on, man? Anyway, top of the first inning, Astros are already on the board, winning one to nothing. I'm posted up here in left center, favorite home run spot. And if we can do like a little 180 here, I want to show everyone the space. If a home run clears this scoreboard, I have all this room to work with. You're not allowed to post up on the stairs, but I can run up there if anything lands. So that's just the issue. I mean, if anybody hits one out here, I'm going to be all over it. Jake Marisnik just hit a moonshot. It hit the home run sculpture, and that's actually two nights in a row that an Astros batter has hit a home run there. Last night it was Jose Altuve. You know, I have all this room to run, but they're just hitting it a little bit past, basically, you know, the, the limit to where I can go. So, nothing I can do about that. See what that looks like? Yeah. Top of the fifth inning, Astros are on top, eight to two, and I've been hanging out with a lot of cool people here. That was the Marlins team photographer, a guy named Cato, and I want to give a shout out, get on in here, to my new friend and fellow ball hawk, Dennis Mora, who's one of the top ball hawks anywhere, and the king of Marlins Park. How many baseballs last year for you? 639. 639, so watch out for this guy. But no, he's really cool. Nice hanging out with you, man. And I'll be looking for you on TV, and maybe we'll see each other here for all the all-star stuff. Who knows? Cool. Contrary to what you see behind me, this game is in fact over. The stadium lights have been dim, but the Clevelander is still hopping. In fact, just a few minutes ago, someone came up to me and said, is the game over? And I was like, yeah, it is. That's kind of what happens down here. People are often far removed from the action. Now, for the second straight day here, I just got to get away from the noise for a second, but for the second straight day, I failed to catch a home run in BP. This place is really tough. But I doubled my output from yesterday. Two balls yesterday, four today. They were all toss-ups. Got one after the game from my man, Carlos Munoz, one of the two Astros bullpen catchers. And by the way, he gave me this shirt the other night in New York. This is his company. Check the description, I'll throw a link there. Uh, the Astros are on fire. They won this game 12 to two. They have the best record in Major League Baseball at 28 and 12, and I'm happy. They're a really friendly team, so it's nice to see them doing well. This stadium, man, it's weird, it's fun, it's interesting, it's unique. It was tough though, six baseballs total in two days is far below my average. I probably won't make it back here this year unless I come to the All-Star stuff. Derby, All-Star game, still working out my plans. So stay tuned, you might see that. And in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching.